September 20, 2015 Arcturian Group Dear ones, you are beginning to see many changes in your world. Try not to hold concepts regarding what those changes must look like in order to be valid, but instead learn to be silent observers of everything around you. Observe people's reactions and listen to what they are saying. Note the increasing fear of politicians scrambling to keep you where they want you, in fear and old energy. Notice how advertising seems to have become ever increasingly loud and annoying. All forms of old and dense energy are trying very hard to hold on in spite of the ever-increasing light of awareness flooding to earth this time. Those still holding tightly to the fear-based projections of unawakened consciousness are simply unaware and as of yet uninterested in knowing that there are more evolved and easier ways of living. These dear souls continue to wage intense resistance to change in hopes of keeping themselves and the world in what is known or profitable, using tools that no longer resonate with many. Most of you are discovering that it has become very easy to see through the nonsense. You no longer live at that level. In your course of spiritual seeking you learn that you are creators and that people create their own situations. This has caused many a serious student to look at the problems in his life as spiritual failures, as signs that he was not understanding truth correctly. It is highly likely that every problem in your life was intentionally and perfectly created by you for learning and growth. At this point in the journey there are no accidents. It is time for silence and trust. Give yourselves permission to do absolutely nothing and just be. Old concepts bind mankind to the belief that time spent doing nothing reflects laziness. The result is a world full of people racing through each day who have lost contact with an awareness of their own quiet place of rest and renewal within. Spend time in nature even if only a small park in the city. Seek out the places where you can simply be, without distractions and noise. Learn to just listen to the silence. In the midst of busy family and working life, finding quiet time is often very difficult. However, if you make the effort, you will soon discover yourself able to center more easily and quickly and that you carry a peace with you throughout your day. There are those who get up in the middle of the night for contemplation and meditation because that is their only quiet time. Many of you are aware of specific dates being given for the first wave of ascension. Do not hold ascension to a specific date. What this means is that by this time those prepared to move into higher dimensional energies will be doing it. Believing that it can only happen on or by a certain date is third dimensional thinking. Actually many of you are already there or are moving in and out of it. Do not be afraid, you are not leaving but are shifting while in physical bodies to a new resonance which you will recognize by a new awareness. This is why the clearing of old energies from the sin past lives has been so necessary. Do not expect to suddenly see all or cease, for there are still many not yet ready to move beyond such third dimensional experiences. However, you yourself will not be in war unless you choose to be because it is no longer a part of your consciousness. There have been some in the military who discovered after committing, that their state of consciousness had evolved beyond killing and violence and thus found themselves in the midst of intense inner struggles involving guilt, confusion, and a sense of failure. Some of them, seeing no other way, chose what seemed to be their only option, suicide. These dear ones believed what they were told instead of trusting their intuition and from the experience learned a powerful lesson about personal power and choice. This awareness they will bring firmly intact into their next life when they will be the peacemakers. Attaining a consciousness of oneness manifests as a change in attitude and beliefs about so-called enemies. News is more often than not simply fear propaganda continuously focusing on some enemy in order to gain general acceptance from the public for military action and additional surveillance. Always remember that the enemy is also an expression of the divine but not as evolved as you. Many have incarnated only a few times and through ignorance have allowed themselves to be hypnotized by pictures of separation and duality. Also in ignorance of who and what they are, they surrender their personal power to those claiming to have all the right answers but who in turn use these followers for personal, limited, self-serving and power-hungry gain. All will eventually awaken as all must, but it may not be for many lifetimes. Time seems to be moving faster and faster, leaving everyone feeling frantic with the need to accomplish many things each day. 
This is because energy has become more refined and higher in its vibration leaving less of the old and slower that you are accustomed to. You will find in this new and higher energy, that even though you may seem to have a never-ending list of things to deal with, they are getting done more easily and in faster ways. Solutions seem to manifest when needed. You may be discovering that people, places, and beliefs that formerly caused you to react with criticism and judgment simply no longer seem important. Previously loved films, books, music, magazines, TV shows, some sports, and other entertainments don't hold your interest as they once did. Entertainments that focus on people in judgmental or sarcastic ways has no appeal but is instead recognized to be unevolved behavior based in a sense of separation. Arcturian Group wishes you to know that the weather will move into a time of calm. There is coming a time of rest for the world from the struggles that grip so many. The fires, floods and weather extremes are Gaia's way of continuing to remove remaining old festering energy required for her ascension. These events are serving as well to awaken many at one time. The old energy of haves and have-nots is not well served when all find themselves on the same level and dealing with the same issues. All Earth experiences in every lifetime have been for the sole purpose of leading each soul eventually into the realization of one which is in its purest form, love. The refugees you see daily fleeing from violence and war are serving to bring world attention more deeply into a realization of oneness, that everyone is connected regardless of the language they speak or the color of their skin. This issue is forcing the attention and helping to awaken many who live out from a not-my-problem consciousness and who consider events taking place somewhere else, to have nothing to do with them. These images are also providing a perfect example of how war and violence solve nothing. Always remember that every soul chooses or is helped to choose the experiences necessary for his awakening. Learning experiences are allowed only as an individual attains the evolutionary strength necessary to cope with and learn from the experience. There are spiritually evolved souls who seem to have one problematic issue after another and wonder why. It is because at this energetically powerful time most of you came with a full list of life lessons necessary for your completion in order to move into ascension energy. If you were not fully capable of this, you would not have been allowed to bring in so many lessons. We wish to close the message with a few words about honor. Honesty and honor are extremely important when making choices and holding personal opinions. When an action flows from a person's highest sense of right, even if he is fully in third dimensional thinking he is allowing himself to be open to change and a higher understanding of his beliefs and actions. It is imperative that anyone serious about the spiritual journey be extremely honest with himself. Am I pursuing this particular belief or action because it makes me feel and look important? Does it give me a sense of superiority over others? Do I not question, but follow because it has always been this way? Am I afraid that if I disagree with family, church, friends, parents, I will be excluded? These are questions that anyone serious about spiritual growth must ask themselves with regard to any lingering or rigidly held beliefs about anything. Do I believe this because it has been revealed to me as truth, or because it is what I have been told? Is fear of losing my credibility as a spiritual teacher, counselor, parent, friend causing me to continue in some belief system that I have outgrown? Honor, honesty, and pure intention must be a part of every action taken and belief held if one is to grow and learn and ascend. Those who really know, hold the truth they know secretly, silently and sacredly within and feel no need to shout it from the rooftops, or change anyone or anything. We are the Arcturian Group September 20th 15.